downwards and upwards. Nice day, isn't it? Oh, hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's big porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. We've got an Alfa Romeo up my arse here. Come from nowhere in then. Uh, well, Monday morning. Another day, another 50p in it. For the week, another 80 pence. Woo! Got a wheel spin there. Right then, here we go. Is British boxing now on a par with Germany? Uh, get my eyes tested. Is it on a par with Germany? As regards judging and refereeing, ooh, yeah, I would say so. I would say so, yeah. Let me just stop here. So I've got a problem. Two punches repair on my car, so then I've got a little mark on one of my wheels. It's only a problem if you've got black alloy, isn't it? You know, if you have a problem with rim and that, there's a slow puncher. You get a mark, you take the paint off, doesn't it? Fuming. Fuming. But other than that, I'm alright. It's uh, got OCD and I. Uh, is British boxing, as I've just said, is it on a par with Germany? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think it's shocking. Uh, I think it's shocking, honestly, I do. I think it's shocking. Not as shocking as Daz Home, though. <laughs> They're proper under the cosh, aren't they? They're that desperate. They're dragging fight out for, for ages, making people wait before the main event. That's how desperate Daz Home have got. Putting KSI on and Logan Paul charging money for that. That's craziness. Two people making the debut as boxers headlining and it's a pay per view because of that. They're trying to tap into that market. They are desperate. Desperate people do desperate things. Desperate. Especially in the boxing industry. They tell massive lies. I mean, we all know the stories about promoters telling the big promoters that their fighters do loads of tickets they like paying to get the fighters on the big shows some promoters in the UK a bit embarrassing if you ask me a bit embarrassing but what can you do I heard a corker that what you want this well you could say it with this morning couldn't you want it morning so it's morning isn't it but that to me is last night but I heard a corker last night corker about a certain boxing promoter in the UK oh. This is how many tickets we do, we're massive. This person saying this, we'll call it this particular fighter, saying that this fighter does loads of tickets, not true. Like paying to get the fighters on. <laughs> oh my god, paying? Sheesh. What can you do? What can you do? But, is British boxing on a par with Germany? Yes. Is it on a par with Italy? It's worse than Italy. Italy's got a reputation of, you need to knock somebody out to get the win there, and then they'll dispute it. 
ask my friend Robin Reed about that. In fact, one second, I've got somebody up my ass here. What's he doing up my ass here? What are you doing? Can you forward focus? I'm gonna just pull up here. Go on in your Ford Focus 52 plate. Speaking of Robin Reed, Robin Reed bought me this in uh, Bulgaria. Put some on, I forgot to put some on. Gotta smell my best, don't I? For Michelle. And Nicola in the office, and what's going up now? I don't want them thinking I smell of. I don't want them thinking that I smell of uh, milk. Spencer fear instead of smell of milk. Then you Spencer, my old, my old bean, old bean Spencer. Right. Crawler. So we've got we've done British boxing. British boxing now on a par with Germany. Yes, British boxing is now on a par with Germany. Anthony Crawler. I'm for the Eddie Hearn show. The Eddie Hearn show at I think Manchester. Was it a good show? Look, if you look at that show, right, you look at it and you think, how they're getting away with this. But when Eddie took when Eddie, Eddie took on the deal, that show would have been a good show. It's only because we've been spoiled that we're having a moan, aren't we? Really? Because when you start confusing pay-per-view shows with non-pay-per-view you can have a problem you look at that show you think that's crap because what they do they train the mind don't they they train your mind now the reason the show were crap in my opinion is this how many women 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 fought on the show were the two two women fights i think that's an overload really why don't they just put a full card out of women boxing why don't they do that if they want equality? When I mean, you've got that Anna Woolhouse coming out with all this, it's not women's boxing anymore. It's boxing. What? What? What's all that about? What? What? Why is she push? Why are they pushing this agenda? What these people are doing, these commentators, they're training your mind. I mean, Andy Lee and Macklin. What were they all coming out with? They're constantly coming out with the sky narrative. So I'm gonna tell you a little story. You know that my stories are bang on, don't you? Listen to this for a story. Clinton Woods has done it a few times, but he once did pundit work from the Sky Studio. And he were not, they don't like commentate, they like do like uh, a review of the fight, don't they? There's Clinton Woods, I think it might have been when Paul Dempsey was there, I'm not sure. But Clinton said something as a as a pundit and they said, Oh Clinton, we don't want, you can't say that. So Clinton said, Why well, are you told that I'm here to give an opinion? You know. Bearing in mind we're talking about Clinton Woods here. Clinton Woods not one of them people on social media that whore himself out every time he has a fart he puts it on Twitter he's not like that every time Clinton has a fart he don't every time Clinton wants to talk about boxing he doesn't tag certain promoters into the conversation oh it's like reporting to teachers petting it <laughs> It's like reporting to teachers, petting it, tagging a promote, tagging somebody that you're desperate to work with and desperate to impress. Clinton doesn't tag Adam Smith in every time he has a fart. Every time Clinton cracks open a bottle of Skull out of his fridge, he doesn't crack it open and then go, just uh, cracked open a can of Skull at Adam Smith or at Sky Adam Smith. He doesn't do that. That's he doesn't do that. Some. But some people in boxing tend to do that. Uh, so anyway, to cut a long story short, Clinton's there, well, I'm, I'm here for it to give an opinion. Yeah, but we don't want you to say that. So Clinton's like, well, why? It's true, innit? 
yeah, but we, we know we want you to say this and that. Clinton says, no, no, I'm not here to say that. I'm here to give an opinion. Bearing in mind, you've got Clinton Woods here, who's got four victories over world champions, the same as Chris Eubank Senior, and uh, more victories over world champions than Tony Bellew, more victories over world champions than Tyson Fury, more victories over, over world champions than Deontay Wilder. So, hello, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Alright. What do you want? I've just heard in Aldi that you're going to be fighting a boxer. Spend to somebody. Yeah, who, who's told you that? I've just heard. Is it right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's for charity. For Why? charity? Yeah. You're Why? bonkers. You are. What, what charity are you going to get it for? It's not to do with boxing, I hope. It's all crooks. Uh. You should go back to selling your cars like you did before. Listen to me, listen, whoa, 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 listen to me. Yeah. What I do in my spare time is no to do with you, but let me just tell you this, it's for charity and a good cause, and I'm just, you know, it's, you know, well, I'll be all right, be headgear on and all that, won't we? I'll be all right. It's not that good, yeah. it's not that good. Yeah. Don't, don't worry it's about me. What do you want, anyway? Uh, I need some money for kids for the birthday and they need new coats. Alright, I'll sort it in a bit. There you go. Right, getting back to uh, Nicola, edit that out. Right, getting back to. Uh, lost my train of thought now. Have some chocolate milk, sir. I get indigestion. I get in Women give me indigestion. So you've got Clinton Woods. You've got Clinton Woods, right? The expert. He beat more world champions than Tyson Fury. He's beat more world champions than Tony Bellew. He's in the Sky Studio. Central Area Champion, British Champion, Commonwealth Champion, European Champion, and World Champion for three years. Let me repeat that world champion for three years over three year right so that's clinton woods sky have employed him as an expert to give his analysis and opinion just like they do carl frotch and johnny nelson and clinton woods were told listen i want you to say this i'm not going to go into which fighter clinton said he shouldn't be in here with him and you know it's a mismatch and whatever he said it, he obviously <laughs> when when these fighters ex-fighters say this i think clinton were fighting at the time when they say this on tv the people who were around them like your adam smith your paul dempsey's at the time and ed robinson they know about the sky narrative more than what the experts like clinton are, are, are coming on and saying they know what the narrative is, so they'll talk over you and go, no, no, I think you're wrong, or they'll correct you, and this is why we love this sport so much, exciting times ahead, boxing's on everybody's lips. Look, Clinton went there, just like Robin Reed, who's got four victories over world champions, more than Tyson Fury, who has two, more than Tony Bellew, who has three, just like Robin Reed, when he used to do it, put you in an hotel, pay your expenses down to London and they put £500 in your bank account. That's how it works, right? But the moral of the story is this, Sky are now narrating a script that is, I think Rob Kelly and Steve Wellens uh, mentioned it on Boxing Asylum, it is now out of control. The Sky commentary is now out of control it's out of control and I'm telling you and I'm Porky from Porky's Corner and we only have one Twitter account there's one Twitter account for me there's no other Twitter account so all these parodies don't believe what they say believe it from me from the horse's mouth or from the pig's mouth 
The Sky narrative is out of control. Ask Ludabella. I always start Mondays in a bad mood. I'm going to end up with an ulcer. That's why I'm having to drink chocolate milkshake all the time. She won't know. To go, it seems like lately everybody wants to beat me up. Especially women. Jesus. Uh, I don't even doing fucking 40 on motor. I've lost me. I'm not even thinking clearly. Right, next one. Tyson Fury. WWE, I don't give a shit about that. I'm an hardcore boxing fan. Tyson Fury is a masterful boxer, but when all said and done, <laughs> when all said and done for the massive amount of hype that Tyson Fury's got, when all said and done, he's got one win over world, over a world champion, one. And he's beat another former champion, Cunningham. Who's the cruiserweight? I know I keep banging on about it, but that's it. People keep going on about what he's doing. Good luck to him, but his job is a boxer. Even his own family is like saying, what's going on here? Tyson Fury is a boxer, a masterful boxer. But we've already missed four years of his best years. Four year. I don't know what's going on anymore with this sport. Tyson Fury. He's going to be like Ali, isn't he? I'm going slow, what's the matter with me? So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but it's not good, is it? It's not good at all. No, it's not good at all. I'm not impressed. Uh, Q, isn't it? Q, Q, P, Q, Aussie, Q, no, it's Q. Uh, N, O, P, Q, M, L, M, N, O, P, Q, isn't it? Q. It's not on. Why do they put these numbers and these marks, right, on? When you're trying to get a number out of your phone thing. I don't know, but no, it's done me head in that, it's done me head in. I'm, I'm starting to wonder what's going on with sport I love. Tyson Fury is a wrestler, he's not a wrestler. Nobody believes that he knocked that guy out. So the best wrestler in the world just fought the, 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 the lineal heavyweight champion and He's knocked him out. I don't believe that. He never had a mark on him, that guy. He never had a mark on him. It does help if you put your glasses on, Russ. So. So, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's one of those things, but. Uh, is Canelo unbeatable on points? Well, <laughs> the Canelo Alvarez fight, right? Against Kovalev. What were all that about? What was all that about? Total and utter crap. Kovalev, right? I had Kovalev. 6-4 up going into 11th round and he got stopped so it's immaterial what happened but if Kovalev would have survived that 11th round he'd have been even going into 12th in my book so if he'd have shared 12th it'd have been a draw wouldn't it but it's all hypothetical now that innit so there's a 
a silver one like mine just gone up there, right? I swear to God, I was sick of silver for years. Now I like silver. What you ain't got, you, what you ain't got, you, you always want, innit? But Kovalev, now, Kovalev, in my opinion, shot fighter. Canelo waited it out. I bet he didn't want to unify at 175. And was there a rehydration clause in the contract where he could only put so much weight on? Did that have an effect on Kovalev going into later rounds? If there were an hydration cause, you know, because the IBF you can only put £10 on, can't you? So, I don't know, but it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, is women's boxing now becoming too much? The Sky narrative? We've just spoke about that. These commentators on Sky now are selling us a shit feast. It's a shit feast, right? It is a shit feast. They're all sat right in that green room eating curly whirlies and drinking Costa coffee, lattes, and they're just telling us what they want to tell us. They're, they're training our minds, but the viewers believe it. Why are they saying Katie Taylor's an icon? Why? Because she won a gold medal. Well, Nicola Adams is an icon, isn't she? She's a world champion. She won two gold medals. She don't get told she's an icon. Savannah Marshall doesn't even get a mention at the moment at Sky. Don't even get a mention. So I don't know what's going on. We've got that Shannon Courtney. She's a chef, isn't she? What's all that about? What is all that about? She gets more PR than Savannah. No, that's just my opinion. She gets more PR than Savannah. I know Savannah's not media friendly and that, but I just think what's going on at moments and utter shit feast. It's a shot it's shocking what's going on. You don't think I've come wrong way here to Dennis's. Uh, these commentators are now coming into our lives and our homes on a weekend and putting total lies in our heads. What are they putting? It, what's going on is nothing short of fraud, isn't it? I mean, everybody knows that Eddie Yearn's trying to build a card up for Katie Taylor to be involved in a pay-per-view. We all know that, don't we? We all know that. Now, the same people that are telling me things are up Eddie Hearn's arse. They're telling me stuff. Well, don't bitch to me. You bitch to Eddie Hearn and you know you are. Well, tell him. Don't tell me. You know, I have a good idea of what's going on anyway. Oh, are you speaking about Eddie again, Porky? Well, people speak about Liverpool, the top of league. Eddie's at top of tree. It's got to trickle down. These small oil promoters need to start standing up for themselves. I can't fire bullets. Certain small oil promoters are not getting a look in, are they? And you've got other small old pot, small old promoters that are hanging out at back of Eddie Hearn at after parties. They know who they are, don't they? They know who they are, beaked out of the mind. Beaked out of the mind. What I want to know about are them promoters that don't go to after parties. What are you doing, you love? In your lane. What about them promoters and people who don't go to after parties at boxing shows and don't get in with the in with the in crowd. What, what, what's going to happen to them? I don't know. Look at that, seven years free servicing. My mum and dad have just bought a brand fire new Kia Sportage, is it? Seven year free servicing. They didn't come and see Porky, did they? If they come and see Porky, I'd have looked after them. I'd have relieved them. Seven year free servicing, oh, that's not bad that is it? Do they just get a wipe though, in garage? Do they do that, just give it a wipe? I don't know but the actual show that Eddie put on at the weekend were poor. By his standards it were poor. If that had been a show that we'd put on, it'd have been brilliant wouldn't it? But our show on the 29th of November is a corker. To us it's a corker. To Sky it'd be passable wouldn't it, if that. It'd just be passable. But Sky are victims of their own success, aren't they? But the narrative that they're pushing with this Katie Taylor thing is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
but it is what it is, isn't it? Boxing, isn't it? What can you do? I'm always sat at this junction here ages. Go on then! Alright, sod on the road, aren't I? Uh, for example, do you know these commentators? This is, I'm thinking of the title for this, it's got to be Sky Commentators are now shite. Can't put that though, can you? YouTube go mad. But, I'm going to give you a few examples. Paul Smith fought Zuga, and one of my heroes, people I like and admire, somebody that were good enough to win a world title but never got the opportunity. But well, he won British Commonwealth and European. He beat Macklin as well. I think Macklin beat former world champion, hasn't he? He beat Macklin and then Ryan Rhodes beat him. Ryan Rhodes schooled him. My second favourite fighter of all time, Ryan Rhodes. A class act. Class. Pound for pound. 154. Ryan Rhodes would have been a pound for pound at 154. If anybody's got a problem with me saying that, come and see me. He would just match correctly and he forced it the wrong way. Ryan Rhodes is a class act. He used to dissect people. Oh, Dennis is here. Right, getting back to... <laughs> right, getting back to... The sky bias. In fact, I'm going to pull over here because I've got two punches because of Dennis's scrap metal yard. We nails all over the place. I'm pulling down here where it's safe. Pulling over there. Uh, point I'm trying to make is years ago. Jamie Moore commentated. Jamie Moore commentated on a fight with Paul Smith and Zuga. And Paul Smith were getting tonked about and he was saying that Paul Smith was saving it for later rounds. Oh, he must be saving it for later rounds. Saving what? What were he saving? That's because you've got people commentating on the mates. Now, what I like about Sky Sports with football. What I like about Sky Sports with football is they all, they all say it as they see it, don't they, with football? But yeah, they don't, do they? When it comes to... Uh, they don't when it comes to the boxing. When it comes to boxing... When it comes to the boxing, what happens is... Let's have a look. 